Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Thank you for joining me right here on the SL Rockfish YouTube channel, soon to be English Makes No Sense. When? I don't know. I got to figure out the whole changing of the email and things. But thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at homophones. And the homophone we're looking at today is... Boom! Meat, meat, and meat. What? Three meats? I know. We have M-E-A-T, meat, you know, meat, the flesh of animals. Ugh, when you put it like that, it's so gross. Then we have meat, the verb to come upon, to encounter, to be introduced. Like, hey, nice to meet you. Then we also have meat, the noun. Huh, yes, M-E-E-T can be both a verb and a noun. Meet the noun, an assembly as of persons and hounds for a hunt or swimmers for a race or track for a race. I love this. I just copied this one because it said an assembly as of persons and hounds. How many people assemble hounds? I guess it's for a hunt. So that's the other meat. Then we have meat, M-E-T-E, -E, to dole out or parcel. And it's usually used with the word out. Like the judge will meet out the sentence. You, you've done the crime, now do the time. You get your sentence is meted out to you. Hmm. So we have M-E-A-T, meat, you know, flesh of animals. M-E-E-T, the verb, to come upon, to encounter, to be introduced. Nice to meet you. Then we have meet the noun. Hey, you want to go to the swim meet? We're going to have a lot of races. I hope our team wins at the meet. Then we have meet to dole out or parcel out. Hmm. Now there are some sayings with the word meat in them. We have meet one's maker <gasps> means to die. I don't want to meet my maker just yet. Don't meet trouble halfway. That means don't stress yourself. To make ends meet means to earn just enough to meet your needs. Like, oh, my paycheck. I hope our paycheck with my paycheck and your paycheck, we're going to make ends meet. Then we have meet someone in the flesh. Ugh, more flesh. Uh, to, just to meet in person. Hey, nice to meet you in the flesh. You know, like you see somebody that you really admire, say like, oh, I don't know, the quarterback of the world's greatest team, the Green Bay Packers. And you say, oh, nice to meet Aaron Rodgers in the flesh. <gasps> That's to meet someone in the flesh. Then we have to meet one's match. That means to encounter one's equal. Like, well, you've met your match in me. Okay? You know how Superman and meets his match, or superheroes meet their match, or you could meet your match, or your team could meet their match, and you've met a team that's your equal. More than meets the eye. This is big in, like, when you have mysteries. Well, Watson, it looks like there's more here than meets the eye. That means there's something hidden, like all the details aren't able to be seen. That's more than meets the eye. Then we have, here's m meat with M-E-A-T. Meat and potatoes guy or gal. Okay, a meat and potatoes guy or a meat and potatoes gal or a meat and potatoes person is a very down-to-earth person. <gasps> or you could say, we're going to get to the meat and potatoes of it. That's the foundation of it. You know, like Sunday dinner or any really good dinner. It's has meat and potatoes, unless you're a vegetarian, then no. Okay, then where the rubber meets, back to this meat, meets the road, the point where your thesis is tested. Like I have this great idea, we're gonna try it out where the rubber meets the road. And that's usually where you find the results. So much meat, M-E-A-T, I love to eat meat, M-E-E-T, hey, nice to meet you, and meat, M-E-T-E. -E. The punishment is about to be meted out. Now, to help you out for a little bit, we have things that can be a meat. M-E-E-T. The noun. A track meet. Meet the parents. Meet and greet. Swim meet. Horse racing meet. Yeah, it's a horse racing meet. And in this heat, heat and meat. So in horse racing, a horse racing meet. Then we have... I like to meet new people and meet and greet. Then we have types of meat, M-E-A-T, pork, beef, chicken, if you're at the restaurant, if we ever get back to restaurants, 
Raw meat, medium rare, medium, and well done. I know, if you're a vegetarian, you're like, no meat. I know, but I just love it. Sorry. Now, we have meet the verb, meet the noun, and meet the delicious flesh of animals. Now, here's a little poem. You know, there's going to be some reading that goes with this to kind of help with the different meats. And we're going to call it, oh, the meats, meats, and meat. Our words for today are homophones. They sound alike, have similar tones. The first one spelled M-E-E-T, as in when I greet you and you greet me. The next one spelled M-E-A-T. You know, it's the flesh of animals, I hate to say. The third one spelled M-E-T-E, -E, while, me while means to dole out for all of we. All of we? That can't be right. It's really not. Just hold on tight. Here are things that you can meet or have meted to you. Here are things that you can meet. Justice, parcels, even a tweet. We all know the commander in tweets. The other meat we know too well, unless you're vegan, but shh, I won't tell. The other meat partners along with greet, like meet me at the meet and greet. If I try to use them all, cause you know I'm gonna try, if I try to use them all, your respect for me, I hope, won't fall. It could. So let me give it one good try before you leave and ask why. I went to meet my friend down the street. She works at the store where she does meet. Out parcels of meat to be delivered. She's never meted out some liver. Who likes liver? Both she and I love meat a lot. So we chowed down at our favorite spot. I got to meet her friend Ted. We ate lots of meat and we're all well fed. I put well feed. No, well fed. What? Come on, English. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you soon. See ya.